Hello and welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. I'm Andre from PSD Box, and today I would like to show you how I created this uh, ink uh, portrait effect in Photoshop. It's something quite easy to achieve. We will use a few stock images, like three or four stock images, and we'll create some custom brushes. And uh, I will show you how to use layer masks and um, how to combine this uh, stock images to create this portrait effect. It's not a difficult uh, effect to achieve and I hope you will like it. Let me show you the original image. So we will use this uh, portrait but you can use any portrait that you want. It's something as I said it's quite easy to achieve and I hope you will like it and let's get started. So as I said I will use this image for this tutorial, I'm gonna select everything and copy it. And I'm gonna use a smaller, well, this is uh, actually a bit smaller edit. I'm gonna go to copy merge. And I'm not gonna use the full size of the image because I'm also recording the video. I'm gonna use about 2000 pixels for the width and lock the height, maybe even a bit smaller, like 1600 and this will be easier for my computer to handle. So um, we will start with this, but uh, before we move on, we have to create a background for uh, for our manipulation here for our artwork. So I'm gonna create a new solid color um, layer and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the colors E3, E3, E3. So this is the color code, uh, this light gray. You can add any um, background that you want but uh, on lighter backgrounds uh, kind of looks better I think but try other backgrounds as well you're free to do that if you want and next I'm gonna go to filter noise and add some noise uh, it's gonna ask me if I want to convert layer styles later that's why I'm, why I'm doing this this time I'm gonna use a second brush which is this one 1800 is okay I think I'm gonna Rotate it like that. If you want to see where the woman uh, is, is um, if you want to see through this layer mask, you can double click on it and drop the density a bit. I don't know, not all uh, all Photoshop versions have this, but the latest Photoshop CS6 I think has it. And now I'm gonna paint with white right here again. One click to reveal this part of the face, like that. And that way we keep, see that, we keep some of the uh, some of the depth and the texture from that uh, from this layer mask that we created there otherwise it looks kind of flat here on the edges and I don't really like this um, you can even use level to further but this time I need to create the layer mask here but I'm, I cannot use the same one I have to look for the layer mask that uh, belongs to the top part so let's lock it, locate that and I think it's this one well, uh, this is part of the layer mask and also uh, the top part. So I'm going to first control click the uh, layer mask of the first of layer one copy. And I'm going to fill that with white right there. And you can see it creates it constraints the layer mask over to this area. here. Then a curves adjustment. And um, I'm going to go into each channel here. I'm going to give you the values that I have for the curve. So uh, on the blue, I have two points, one here and one here. The first one we, is with input 63 and output again 63. So just put it inside while this cross here. And the second one, uh, an input of 210 and output 198. This makes the, um, the highlights and part of the midtones a bit yellower while keeping the color here on the on the uh, shadows on the greens um, i have just one point here and with the input 173 and output 169 so i just added slight a slight touch of uh, magenta and on the reds uh, again i had just one point uh, with input um, 137 and output 121 again uh, some red or some um, magenta sorry uh, on the midtones and that's it that's the adjustment that i made with the curves you can see the result and next to finish it up i 
merged everything into a new layer by pressing Alt, Shift, Command and E or if you use a PC, Shift, Alt, Control, E and I'm gonna turn this into a smart object, just, uh, smart object just in case and here I used the camera raw filter uh, if you don't have uh, Photoshop CC uh, the way you do this is first save this image as a JPEG file uh, save it at 100% quality and then go to the Photoshop preferences and inside a camera raw